Hi friends, it's Liz at Premier Yarns. In this video, we're learning how to do crochet color work using the intarsia technique. With intarsia, we do the color work in small sections uh, by dropping the old color to the wrong side of your work and picking up a new color rather than working over unused colors um, throughout the whole piece like you would with a tapestry or a fair isle style color work. Uh, we're gonna use these little bobbins to keep our yarn separate. And we're using our beautiful, squishy, soft Stitch Please Superwash Worsted. It's 100% superwash wool. I have a pattern called the Flower Power Wrap, and that's a free pattern over at premieryarns.com. So I've wrapped a few bobbins here with the colors that I'm using in this video. I'm going to show you a small section of the color chart that we're going to work through together, but you're going to get the whole color chart um, with, along with the free pattern. So let's start out with a section right here, which consists of 28 half double crochet stitches. I like half double crochet for intarsia. Um, you can use single or double, but half double just seems to work out really well um, with the color work in the end. So. I did a first row of all half double crochet in the color pearl, and then I did uh, 11 half double crochet for my next row. So here's where we're gonna change colors with our bobbins. So this bobbin is attached to my working row, and I'm going to have this row that I'm working on now, which would be row two, that's gonna be the right side of my work. It doesn't matter which row is the right or wrong side, as long as you make sure you keep your bobbins to the wrong side, whether you're working a right side row or a wrong side row. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch to start my half double crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now with three loops on my hook, I wanna change colors. So I'm gonna drop that pearl color and leave it to the back of my work and pick up my next color which I've got wound up on a bobbin. I'm using blue, the, the chart has yellow but you can use any color and then I'm just going to put that color right onto your hook and pull through the three loops to complete the stitch. Now I'm also going to make sure I keep the working yarn of my blue to the back of my work because this is the wrong side. So according to the chart, I should have one, two, three, four half double crochets for the color. So I'm gonna go one, two. I'm working over the little tail of the blue, but I'm not working over the white. I'm just leaving the white hanging to the back. For the pearl. Three, and on my fourth one, I'm gonna not work that last yarn over. I'm going to drop the blue to the back of the work. Grab another bobbin of your pearl, and then add that. So we'll just pull that through. And then I'm going to work the rest of the row in the purple. Now I'll turn my work and we're going to begin on the third row. So I'm going to chain up one, turn. Now I'm on the wrong side of my work. So the wrong side is facing me. And you can see we've got all these little uh, tails hanging out here. So I'm just going to grab my bobbins and pull pull them to where they're not pulling towards the back. So now they're all laying where they should be neatly in front of me. And they will get tangled up. So every now and then, you'll just have to untangle those bobbins. Let's go to our chart. Now that I have turned and I'm on the wrong side, Instead of working here where I worked from, I worked 12 half double crochets in pearl and then four in the blue and then the rest of the row 
back in the purl. So now I'm working in the opposite direction. So I'm going to count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in purl. And then I'm going to pick up my blue and work 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stitches in blue for my little sample section. So now don't have this in the back. Make sure you have it in the front. Just bring it around to the front because we're on the wrong side. So all of this yarn has to stay in the front. So it's all neatly tucked away on the same side. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, And I need 11 total of the purl. So on the 11th stitch, I'm going to not complete my last yarn over. So make sure that's to the front of your work because we're on the wrong side. And then I'm just gonna pick up the blue because it's right here. And I'm not gonna have any sort of floats or anything if I just pick up the blue here. If the blue strand, was all the way over here, I would have to add another bobbin of the blue. But since it's right here, we're just gonna grab that one that's already there, yarn over and pull that through. Now at this point, there's a little bit of a strand leaning over here like this, and then there's one stitch right here that we need to work into. We need five um, of the blue. So I'm just gonna work right into that stitch, but I'm gonna sort of catch that strand so that way I can tuck it into the stitch. And that's just something that you'll be able to kind of judge when, when you can do that, when it's just a little strand like this. You can easily tuck that away so you can't see it. So yarn over, I'm just gonna go sort of under that strand and then under the two loops of my stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through three to complete the half double crochet, and that little float is has disappeared. And then I'll do the other four in the, in the blue color. And then now on the fifth, remember to, we're gonna change color again here. Remember to make sure your bobbins are in front. So just pull that over to the right like this and you can grab it to keep it from getting away from you. And I'm gonna find this pearl and I'm gonna start again with the pearl to complete the row. So pull that through. Now here I have the same situation with that little strand that's sort of leaning over there. You can leave it the way it is or you can work it into the stitch like we just did. So just go under that strand and then into the stitch and you've kind of secured it there and hidden it away. And now we're gonna work across this row. And now I'll turn my work. I have to move all my bobbins when I turn. And now I'm back on the right side of my work. So you can see I don't have any strands hanging from the right side. They're all hanging in the back. And then I'll just make sure I don't have any tangles in my bobbins. So now from the chart, we're gonna work a right side row which is gonna be from left to right. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pearls. And then I need seven of the color. So let's do 10 across in pearl. I don't have to change bobbins here. I still have this one. I still have this pearl right where I need it. Oh, 
And on my 10th one, I'm going to, instead of doing the last yarn over, drop my pearl to the back. And then, as you can see, this blue is right here. So I'm not going to add another bobbin at this point. I'm just going to pull that blue over. And don't make it too tight or it will pinch in like that. So now you see I have a little bit of a strand there, but I can cover that up. I can work over it like we did before. We're just doing it on the right side of our work at this point. So I need to do a blue here, a blue here, and then a blue across these. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook, and, and you can see that strand right there. I can easily catch that in the stitch. And then I can catch it again. So insert, I've caught that strand right there, that float, and make my half double crochet. And now you can see it's completely hidden. You can't see that at all. And let's work five more. Okay, and my fifth one, again, my all my bobbins are on the wrong side. So right now they're hanging, not in front of me, but in the back of my work. And I'm just gonna pick up this bobbin of the pearl that's on this side. So I have a bobbin of the pearl to the right of the blue, and I have one to the left of the blue, and that's exactly how I need it to be because I don't wanna pull this pearl all the way over here and then I'll have a big float there. I'm gonna drop that blue, grab the pearl, and just continue with the pearl across the rest of the row. And as long as you always remember to keep all your strands to one side of your work, so make sure they're always on the wrong side when you're working on the right side, and they're always on the wrong side when you're working on the wrong side. So if you're on the wrong side, they should be facing you. If you're on the right side, they should be behind you. And as long as you remember those tips, you can make beautiful work with uh, the Intarsia technique, and you can have so much fun with color. Thanks for watching.